Hey guys, let's get more news about Steelers, but first don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Ravens LB shares plans for Steelers Patrick Queen. Patrick Queen made an unusual move this offseason, crossing divisional lines in the AFC North to move from the Baltimore Ravens to Pittsburgh Steelers as a free agent. Queen's former partner at inside linebacker on the Ravens' defense, Roquan Smith, is happy for his old teammate but isn't letting the rivalry with the Steelers fall to the wayside while his old friend on the opposite sideline. In fact, he'll be looking for a friendly way to get back at Queen sometime this season. It's not weird at all, Smith said of Queen crossing rivalry lines. You know, life happens so he's somewhere else right now. I got to tear his picture down in the linebacker room. So we have like, linebackers all over the walls so I need to probably make a video of me punching it or something like that. Or maybe I'll ask, special teams coordinator Chris Horton, to get out there on special teams, maybe a punt play. Hopefully it's the day I can just get something with him. Smith still has love for Queen, who combined to form the backbone of a stout Ravens defense for the past season and a half, but as they part ways, Smith has to keep the main thing the main thing and that means finally getting a win over Pittsburgh, which he hasn't done since his fifth game in Baltimore. But no, I'm happy for him, I'm wishing him all the best and I'm looking forward to seeing him twice a year, Smith said. He's still my guy, but war is war so it is what it is. Steelers still looking for WR help, inquired about Brandon Ayuk. Despite adding big names at quarterback like Russell Wilson and Justin Fields, the Steelers' passing attack this year will still depend on their wide receiving core. After trading away Deontay Johnson and watching Allen Robinson depart in free agency, Pittsburgh has been on a search for another veteran receiver to pair with budding star George Pickens, per Jerry Dulock of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. It's not like the Steelers haven't addressed the position since Johnson and Robinson's departures. The team has added experienced receivers like Van Jefferson and Quez Watkins, but despite strong sophomore campaigns from both players, neither has shown the ability to be a consistent, reliable supporting wide receiver. Perhaps Pittsburgh plans to return Corderell Patterson to his wide receiver roots, but more likely, the team will continue looking to add an experienced veteran. We've seen the Steelers kick the tires on plenty of such free agents so far this offseason. They brought in division rival Tyler Boyd, who played at nearby Pitt in college, but are reportedly out of the running after making a disappointing offer. The team also brought in former Chargers veteran Mike Williams, who could have worked well alongside Pickens after spending years as WR2 behind Keenan Allen, but Williams ultimately landed with Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. Now, Dulock reports that we can add Brandon Ayuk to that list of veteran wideouts that have piqued the Steelers' interest. Ayuk is not a free agent, so this isn't a situation in which Pittsburgh can host the 49ers receiver and evaluate him in person. Also, despite the two sides being far apart in extension negotiations, Ayuk has not delivered a trade request to the 49ers. In fact, San Francisco is reportedly actively rebuffing trade inquiries from outside parties. As much as the Steelers would like to lure Ayuk to Pittsburgh, there's only so much they can do without the 49ers deciding to relent and participate. Until then, Pittsburgh will have to continue taking swings elsewhere. Boyd remains available. As do free agents Hunter Renfro, Odell Beckham Jr., Michael Gallup, and Michael Thomas. Several veteran names are sitting in free agency. The Steelers just need to determine if any are the right fit for their new-look offense. Ravens LB shares plans for Steelers' Patrick Queen. Patrick Queen made an unusual move this offseason, crossing divisional lines in the AFC North to move from the Baltimore Ravens to Pittsburgh Steelers as a free agent. Queen's former partner at inside linebacker on the Ravens' defense, Roquan Smith, is happy for his old teammate but isn't letting the rivalry with the Steelers fall to the wayside while his old friend on the opposite sideline. In fact, he'll be looking for a friendly way to get back at Queen sometime this season. It's not weird at all, Smith said of Queen crossing rivalry lines. You know, 
life happened so he's somewhere else right now. I got to tear his picture down in the linebacker room. So we have like, linebackers all over the walls so I need to probably make a video of me punching it or something like that. Or maybe I'll ask, special teams coordinator Chris Horton, to get out there on special teams, maybe a punt play. Hopefully it's the day I can just get something with him. Smith still has love for Queen, who combined to form the backbone of a stout Ravens defense for the past season and a half, but as they part ways, Smith has to keep the main thing the main thing and that means finally getting a win over Pittsburgh, which he hasn't done since his fifth game in Baltimore. But no, I'm happy for him, I'm wishing him all the best and I'm looking forward to seeing him twice a year, Smith said. He's still my guy, but war is war so it is what it is. After inking Roquan Smith to a record-breaking contract, the Ravens are reportedly shopping one of their other linebackers. According to Jason La Canfora of the Washington Post, Ravens linebackers Patrick Queen is prime trade fodder heading into the draft. Queen was a first-round pick by Baltimore in 2020, and the LSU product has certainly backed up his draft stock through his first three seasons in the NFL. He collected 106 tackles and three sacks as a rookie, earning him PFWA All-Rookie Team honors. After seeing his numbers drop a bit in 2021, Queen had a career year this past season, finishing with 117 tackles and five sacks. He ultimately finished the year ranked 31st among 81 qualifying linebackers, per pro football focus, with the site giving him position-leading grades for his pass-rushing ability. After trading for Smith last season, the Ravens gave him a five-year, $100 million contract, $45 million guaranteed, in January. That contract made Smith the highest-paid off-ball LB in the NFL, and it will predictably influence the team's decision-making elsewhere on the roster. With so much money committed to Smith, and with the front office eyeing a fifth-year option decision on Queen this offseason, it makes sense that they'd look to trade off one of their linebackers. The Ravens are only armed with five selections heading into this year's draft, so a Queen trade could help them add to their arsenal. As La Canfora notes, the Ravens need a cornerback, and while there should be some highly graded players available when they pick at number 22, one anonymous executive believes the front office could trade back and still land a top-end player at the position. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Roquan Smith? Leave your opinion in the comments.